Hey, this is Mary from Kamaj Fiber Arts, and today I'm going to show you how to make a cable yarn. So the first thing you need to do is to spin either two bobbins or four bobbins. So if you spin two bobbins, you're going to wind them into a center pull ball. So I need two of these. So one bobbin is going to be plied in a center pull ball, and then the second one is going to be plied in a center pull ball. If you, want it, if you don't like to um, ply from a center pull ball, you'll do four bobbins because you're going to need to ply the two bobbins together and then ply the other two bobbins together. And then we're going to ply those two together. So the secret to a good cable is when you ply this yarn, it needs to be over twisted because when it twists back on itself or when we ply it again, the little um, bumps are going to lock into themselves and form a cable. So let me show you how to make an over twist apply to do a cable yarn. Okay, so I'm starting to um, I'm starting to ply my center pull ball. So what I'm going to do is um, I usually will I'm gonna let that go in. I usually bring my hand back about ten inches or so and then I'm going to treadle. Now I just treadled nine times and I'm going to measure the angle. And I've got about a 50 degree angle in this. Now this is really over plied but when I apply it back on itself see the really pretty cable it's going to make? And to know how many times to ply is really up to you. I feel that a little bit tighter makes a, a nicer cable. I need to keep this separate so that it doesn't travel down, down the uh, thing. Okay, let's do 10 more times. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna let it go in, bring it back. Now, if I stopped here, this would be, if I bring it back a little bit, that's almost a balanced um, ply. It's a little bit on the bulky side, but we need to tighten that ply up because we need to let it um, double back on itself and make a nice cable. So see how tight that is? And the fiber gets a little bit squished, but when it makes a cable, see how pretty that is? And then when you full it, it's going to get even a little bit fluffier. Seven, eight, nine, ten treadles. And I'm going to measure it. And it's about a 50 degree angle. So a 50 degree angle, according to the SE tool, 40 degrees and up is a high twist. We want a high twist in your two ply to make that um, cable yarn. So I'm going to ply each center pull ball with a high twist separately and then we will um, ply those together. So once I'm done, we'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so here are the two bobbins of the center pull balls that I spun. So I have two separate bobbins now. And I over twisted them. They're at, I measured them at a 50 degree angle on my SE tool. And a 50 degree angle is a high twist yarn. And that's what we need because it has to apply back on itself to make that cable. Now, let's say 
um, you put your yarn down and you come back and you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot which way I um, plied it. Because it's really important because you're going to spin the single one way, ply it, two ply it the other way, and then you're going to cable it the other way. So say I forgot, um, I could look at my... I could look at my SC tool and on the front there's a S twist and a Z twist and I simply lay the yarn over the top of it and then match which way the angle's going. So this was spun in an S direction, that's the ply. So my single was spun in the Z direction which is to the right. My ply was spun to, in the S direction which is left and then I'm going to cable it again to the right. So let me get that set up for you and I'll show you um, how to cable the yarn. Okay, so I've got my um, two bobbins on my Nitty, nitty Naughty. I'm going to set that down next to me. And now I'm just going to ply like I would normally plying, but I want a balance this time. I don't want anything over spun. So what I'm going to do is ply it and then look for balance. And see how that's balanced? It just kind of hangs. And I could pull, actually pull back about 10 inches or so and count maybe to five. And I'm going to check my balance. That's a little over twisted. So I'm going to pull my hand, my fingers back a little and let the twist travel up. So then I, I have a balanced um, yarn. So see the cable on that. And then I would check my balance as I go. And again, if it's over twisted, see how it's twisting back on itself? I want to pull my hand back on the yarn and let the twist travel up a little bit so I have a balanced yarn. You know, and once you get kind of get a feel of how much you need to um, treadle, it'll go a little bit quicker. Okay, over twist it again. So let's see, let's move the camera so you can see. So I'm going to pull my hand up and let the twist travel up this way a little bit so we get more of a balanced yarn. So if you're going to ply where you bring your fingers up, you want to check it periodically or you can slide your hand back and then count maybe, I don't know, start with five and see how it goes. See it's over twisted, so I'm going to pull back and do that again. So we'll do one, two, three this time again. So it's a little bit of a, um, you know, checking and balancing, but you just don't want to apply blindly, I call it, because you, you want to make sure that you've got enough twist in the fiber but not, not too much because you want that cable look. You want the stitches to actually lock into each other because if you don't ply it enough, it's just going to look like a weird twisted, see how it just looks like a plied? But if you add a little bit more twist to it, they actually lock into each other and, be, and get that cable look. Oh, and by the way, this yarn was spun, or the fiber that I used for this yarn was from the Bird of Paradise spinning box. I believe it was May, and all the fibers were amazing, and it really made this cool kind of funky. So now it's going to change colors. So. Okay, we'll check it again. Again, over twist. You're going to pull your fingers this way. Let the twist travel up until you get a balanced yarn, but still one that looks like a cable. Oh, and I'm using my Wooly Winder. Um, I can pack a lot more fiber on my Wooly Winder than I can a regular bobbin, and I didn't want to overdo my, my Louette bobbin. So my Wooly Winder is kind of my go-to when I have to pack a lot of fiber on because it'll hold quite a bit and it's the way that it's it evenly distributes the yarn. Alrighty, um, you can find me at um, 
camagefiberarts.com. And we have the little um, Essie tool that will um, help you spin better yarn, balance yarn, and take you to that next level of spinning. And thank you for joining me. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.